So hello, we're back again in fact. Now um, today I was thinking that what I would make in fact is a poppy seed cake. It's a Polish recipe, famous in fact, and um, I used to be able to go with my mum and dad and um, well mum in fact down to the local delicatessen over in Reading. We had a lovely one there in fact and in the shop window they had all these cakes. I'm sure it's the little old ladies that used to make them, in fact. And uh, this is a cake that's called uh, Makovets. And um, you would buy it for Christmas, you would buy it for um, Easter. And I remember mum buying quite a few cakes, actually. She made some as well. But I know that, because this is a slightly complicated recipe, in fact. But um, when you've got the result, it's absolutely delicious. And anyway, um, poppy seeds are very good for you. They're good for the skin, good for the hair. They're good for digestion, anxiety, asthma, coughs and things like that. And um, although there's not been any research or anything on that, um, so there's no proof. But, um, you know, old wives tales. Anyway, so we digress. What I'm going to do today, in fact, is show you, first of all, how to do the, um, the pastry and then we'll go on to the poppy seeds. So the pastry is normally a, um, it's a yeast, sort of bread pastry, in fact, but because I'm, a lot of people don't like these yeast things, uh, yeast pastries, um, and I don't either, in fact, so I, this is my version and uh, I hope you like it anyway, in fact. Right. So what we've got here, in fact, is we need plain flour. I'll let you have the ingredients for everything very shortly. So we make a well in the center, like so. And what we're gonna pop in there, in fact, is egg. There we go. And, um, oops. And we need about a tablespoon of um, oil. There we go. And we also need, and I'm going to have to um, get the um, water, a third of a cup, which we will add in gradually. Now I'm taking it out the kettle, and the reason for that is that it's got to be warm. The water's got to be warm, says she, dropping the kettle. <laughs> I think that's, yep, yeah, that's warm. So just mix it all together and just gradually, very gradually, add this warm water. Hello, knees off. We're not outside today. The weather's just completely changed. It was lovely this morning when we went out for our doggy walk. And now suddenly, it's like not only autumnal, it's actually cold. Whatever is he parking at now? Is there somebody outside? Is there somebody out the front? Dear, oh dear. So let's get this together and then we're going to form it into a ball once this is done, like so. And then this is the funny bit, and I'm, I'm deadly serious when I say this. Once we've kneaded it, you actually have to throw it, yes, throw it on, <laughs> on a floured surface. Um, for about a hundred about a hundred times the reason is that the more you knead it the more that you throw it on the um, on the uh, floured board the pastry becomes lighter so uh, let's start kneading this oh he's off he's off he's off right so let's get this together like so it's coming together already and um, try not to throw it all over the floor when you're doing it. I'll go and get that boy in a minute. There we go. You can see what it's beginning to look like. Let's give it a good knead, like so. And then I'm going to... Oh, hello, are you sleeping? Was that a yawn? I say. Start kneading it like so. Hello, hello, trouble. What are you up to? What? What was that? Was it a cat? Was it a pussy cat? 
Yes, we're filming, darling, and you weren't in the picture. Mm. No, you weren't in the picture. Right, so let's throw it. And um, obviously I won't... We'll come back in a minute, in fact, when we've thrown it a few times, because I'm sure you don't want to watch me throw, throw it about a hundred times. So keep throwing it. Three, four... <laughs> right. The thing that I'm doing, I've already thrown it down a hundred times. Now, I've kneaded it. The next step was to knead it for another five minutes, which I've done. So I'm going to form that into a, a ball. I've got a little container here. We're going to pop that slightly oiled. Pop that on there. Okay. Cover it and we're going to pop this. In, um, I'm going to pop it in by the oven, in fact, um, for the next, I don't know, 45 minutes, I think it is, actually. So let's have a look, in fact, yeah. All right, then. So, um, yeah, this will, um, we'll be doing the filling next. So, what I've done, in fact, is I've got the popper seeds and I've poured some boiling hot water over them as you can see here in this bowl. I've left it overnight um, to soak, in fact. So what we're going to do now, in fact, is um, get a colander, line it with some uh, paper towels, and we're going to sieve this to get all the um, moisture and all the water out, okay? So as you can see, this has now been strained, in fact, and um, we've got rid of most of the water. So what I've done is um, I've now put the poppy seeds, which have been strained in fact, into a food processor because we're going to um, mix it up with, first of all, I'm gonna add melted butter. All right. Going to add the sugar, custard sugar. I'm going to add some lemon zest as well, almond extract, probably about a teaspoonful in there, and then we've got about three, four tablespoons, one, two, three, and about four four tablespoons of um, honey. What are you doing, Archie? And finally, a little pinch of um, cinnamon. So we're going to ground these. Okay, are we switched on? Yes, we are. Archie's please don't hoover. It's picking up bits and pieces that have dropped on the floor. butter, only a little bit. There we go. Put that on. Here we go. Right, okay. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do, in fact, is... Um, well, we're going to stop for a minute when I get the top off. Yeah, because we're going to fry this now. So the next step is to fry this now, stirring continuously, for about 10 to 15 minutes, all right? So you can see that it's frying already. So what you need, in fact, is now get your two eggs and separate them. All right, we're going to use this and we're going to beat this up.
is now taking it out I've left it in the oven um, for 45 minutes it's now come out we're going to roll it out like so roll it out as much as you can and then once you've done that want it stretched and stretched and stretched as much as you possibly can going to stretch it and stretch it and stretch it and in a minute I'm actually and I've actually done it on a, um, a tablecloth which I have floured there we are there we are and we're going to stretch it even more so here goes let's get some flour my hands and now you put your hands underneath here and you start pulling and stretching and stretching. Don't use your fingers. You want to use, you want this as thin as possible. Just keep stretching it. Okay, so we'll be back in a minute when we've stretched it. All right, so yeah. So we're adding this into that now. There we are. Stir that in. Archie, what are you doing? That's gone in there. And now we're also adding the raisins. So now this is ready. There we go. So we're going to cool this and then we can use it in the pastry. Right. So we've stretched it out and we want to now use the melted butter and brush it all on like so. Actually, please, he's at my feet again, hoovering all the leftover bits. At least that keeps it quiet. I have no idea what's under there because I'm sure flour. <laughs> it can only be flour. Do you like flour, Archie? Whatever are you doing, boy? Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. I couldn't film outside today because the weather's changed. So he's bored inside as well, probably wants his little walk in a minute. Right, so we've got the oven on now. The oven I've put on and preheated to 175 degrees centigrade. So let's pop that there. And here we go. What we want to do is to start spooning it in. Ooh. Like so. Avoiding the edges and avoiding this bit as well. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. It's very nice. This is starting to take shape now. Just use this like so. Spread it out. There we are. Actually, whatever, whatever are you doing? It's still slightly warm. You want it to be slightly warm. There we go. And then just spread it out. Like so. There we go. Just about ready. So the next thing is using the edge of the tablecloth well, first of all let's not forget to 
fold this fold the edges so that it doesn't pop out and then using the edge of the tablecloth or a cloth or whatever it is just roll it like so there we go making sure that that doesn't escape either and just keep rolling it there we go lovely that's it ready and the last thing is using the leftover butter in fact i'm going to put it on um hang on a minute i'm going to no i'm not i think the easiest thing is uh let's just put the butter here like so and then we're going to pop this in the oven and the only thing that we'll need to do afterwards in fact is to put the glaze on let's pop this over here pop it on here like so so this is the tricky dicky bit you want to have oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea <laughs> Bear with me for a minute while I um, maybe better switch it off for a minute. So it's over for another day. Hello, you're giving me a little kiss. Over for another day. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, session of um, our cookery video, in fact. I know that uh, it was quite an elaborate. Um, recipe in fact but I hope that you'll enjoy it and that you'll make it and um, we will see you next week so I'm going to say goodbye goodbye from this little fella who's gone very quiet and he's waiting for his tea and um, good goodbye from Mike our cameraman see you next week <laughs>